Hello and welcome to VTV Bharat for this special and exclusive interview of Dr. Subramaniam Swami. Dr. Swami is known for his strong and critical opinion on foreign affairs, international affairs, political and economical matters and now he is also being labelled as a man, <coughs> as a rebel within the party. Thank you very much Dr. Swami for joining us for this special interview. Dr. Swami, it's been a month ever since the Russian invasion happened. As per the UN estimates, uh, 10 million people have been internally displaced. Nearly 4 million people have been forced to flee out of Ukraine. And economical sanctions are being imposed on Russia. But since then, even then the war hasn't stopped. My question to you is, Sir, <clears throat> do you think that Ukraine has become a pawn or a victim of contest between two major powers? Not at all. Uh, not yet anyway. Uh, it is an unprovoked attack by a uh, power which was once upon a time considered superpower when it was Soviet Union. Hmm. Now it's only a small um, fraction of that uh, Soviet Union, which is called Russia. Hmm. Uh, when there was Soviet Union, Ukraine was also part of yes. it. This Russia and Mr. Putin, who uh, turned out to be a most un undemocratic uh, dictator, hmm. I can use two contradictory terms, and he has now uh, gone in saying it will take only three days, yes. but is now 34 days or 35 days and uh, the people are fighting val valiantly. Hmm. Yes, the, the, the uh, America for example and its allies, they are uh, assisting them in terms of giving them weapons. Yes. But otherwise they are, uh, and that too after much pleading by the Ukrainians. Yes, Zelensky has been, has been addressing different uh, That's parliaments. right, that's yes. right. But now there's a lot of sympathy which has developed mm -hmm. uh, for Ukraine because Ukraine is a, a defenseless country and uh, the Russians have crossed an international boundary accepted by the United Nations, that boundary. And they are trying to grab the territories. Yes. Uh, and they are using modern weapons to uh, blow up buildings uh, and they are targeting civilians. Hmm. And uh, so I think uh, it's more a bully hmm. and a valiant uh, resistor of that bully uh, that is going on. It's not between two, uh, two superpowers. Uh, Dr. Swami, how could anyone justify Russia's invasion? I mean, if. <laughs> Uh, if you see the statements coming from the Kremlin, uh -huh. they are saying that their their security stakes. Yes, they, they had they, they had their they, own security stakes. They say what they, that these people were going to join NATO. Yes. Uh, uh, now uh, the the Ukrainian president has very clearly said that I will not join NATO. Hmm. I will not even ask to be joined to uh, join NATO. Hmm. To NATO. So uh, then stop it. Hmm. If you have no intention of. Uh, uh, taking over Ukraine or hmm. parts of Ukraine, then w what are you fighting for? Uh, the Ukrainians have not uh, aggressed into Russia. Hmm. They have not taken any territory of Russia. When uh, 1992, the Soviet Union broke up into little pieces, hmm. it was agreed that Ukraine will be this area. Yes. And uh, it was mutually agreed and then uh, both sides uh, came to uh, diplomatic relations. Yes. And uh, are both are members of the United Nations. Hmm. So no, no, there is no other um, uh, matter except that the um, Putin has miscalculated, hmm. and I think he himself is now in great danger of losing his position. Dr. Sami, how do you see the role of United Nations? Several resolutions has been passed, but war is yeah, still I know. But the United Nations is essentially is a place for debate. I don't think it's a place for action. Hmm. Uh, only if uh, there's a small country and that has to uh, have a United Nations uh, peacekeeping force yes. sent, it, it is effective. It can mm. say, go to go Congo and send, uh, mm. you know, have uh, uh, United Nations police and all. But when uh, a superpower gets involved... When it comes to P5? Yes, P5. And that also, Russia is illegally there because it's, that seat was for, uh, for USSR. Hmm. There's no USSR, hmm. so how uh, there are 16 parts of USSR. Yes, they're all each become members now. Why is it that you selected um, the Russians as the hmm. as the representative 
or the continuing uh, um, uh, uh, part of this thing. Even today in the UN, hmm. uh, it is not listed as Russia. It's listed as USSR. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Swami, how do you see the role of New Delhi's reaction on this conundrum at United Nations? It's, it's, uh, we have been abstaining at almost every vote. It's a very weak uh, thing. We are buying weapons from Russia. Hmm. And uh, we are spreading this uh, propaganda that Russia has always stood by us. And Ukraine is pro-Pakistan. Huh? There is also an argument that Ukraine is, has always been pro-Pakistan. Yes, but what is the evidence of that? Yes. Um, just uh, This is just propaganda. Hmm. First of all, Russia has never stood by India because Russia came into being only in 1992. Yes, after the collapse of Soviet. 1971, it was the Soviet Union which yes. came to us. That time, Ukraine was also part of the Soviet Union. Hmm. So, you can say Ukraine also came to our assistance at that time. <laughs> but uh, the, uh, in late 90s, when we tested our nuclear test, uh -huh. Ukraine was the one who opposed at... Who That's opposed right. They, were, yeah, they can have a, The Americans opposed it. We yes. are all the time falling over the Americans, yes, yes. wanting to be friends with them. Hmm. What is the difficulty? But, Dr. Sami, don't you think that we are sitting on the fence in this conundrum? We are not we giving are, any categorical we statement. Are, we are. It's a human rights issue. And uh, an aggression has been hmm. clearly done by Russia against Ukraine. We should have stood for stood with Ukraine. So you are saying that we should at least condemn Russia's military invasion. Absolutely, and offer um, um, you know uh, um, uh, Red Cross or uh, the equivalent of Red Cross hmm. or you know uh, help people in Ukraine uh, to survive. This yes, we attack. are providing humanitarian assistance to Ukraine as well. Well, it's a different kind of unit. It's not really, man. <laughs> <Yes. laughs>